Hi, all Chris here with um, a new find. It's a 1956 Asta SJ television. Um, from memory, it uses 23 valves and was one of the first Asta televisions at the time. Their first model, I believe, and one of the first in Australia. So I managed to score this for $50 from a local tender centre, which is just like an auction warehouse kind of place. So yeah, here it is. Um, on, the left, on the right here you have your turret tuner, which needs a bit of a clean. It's got a fine tuning control here. It's got some writing here which I have to remove. It has a speaker in there, some image adjustment um, controls. Unfortunately it has a bit of a uh, bit of damage in the glass panel there, but I'll see if that can be replaced. Um, it has a power and volume knob here. I hope you can read that on there. So yeah, it would have had a plastic grill that went there. I'm going to see if I can um, get another one made. Um, maybe using a 3D printing method. So I can find someone who does 3D printing if I can get the dimensions of it. Um, so yeah, it's got a really round old CRT. Uh, nice wooden cabinet which is in good shape I've been in fact, it needs to be re-varnished. It needs to be sanded down and re-varnished. Um, it seems to have some kind of gold or something around the um, around the tube here. Some kind of gold coating that's um, faded away, and it also has some metal around there. So yeah, I've just got it in my bedroom on my television trolley. A little four-wheeled industrial trolley I picked up for two dollars from a garage sale. So anyways, here's the insides of um, the unit, the insides of a beast. So I've got a nice big CRT here. I'm not sure what model, what number it is. You've got valves galore. Um, from here I can count I can count 18 valves so far, so there's must be a few more hit. Ooh, what do we have here? Well, look here at that. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. I'll be darned. I just found a box with a valve on it, an IS2, a spare IS2 valve. Just, what the heck? That was just crammed in next to a tube there. Looks like it's seen better days, I don't know. It's got oily or something, but... Oh, that is really weird. That is weird indeed. Huh. Huh. I'm not sure what to make of that. So, um, yeah, anyway, so... Um, aside from finding an old valve in its original box and this thing, um, so yeah, there it is at the moment. I'll pull the um, chassis out later. It's got a mains plug here with two fuses. It's got some kind of little bridge here. It's made of um, orange plastic. It's set to medium. Quality inspected, inspector number four, I believe that says. Um, SJ24674, that's a serial number, I assume. Um, let's see. So, yeah, it's neck of a tube here. It's got the um, deflection coil. It's got one of those real round old CRTs. Really cool wooden cabinet. A bit of paint inside for some reason. Uh, coaxial antenna cable here. I'd have to put a valen connector on there once I get it working. Um, so, yeah. Um, there it is at the moment, so I'll set about um, removing the chassis, see um, what else I can find in there. So, yeah, there it is, my very awesome um, Asta, vintage Asta television find from 1956. So, yeah, cheers. Chris.